through the 80s and 90s, we didn't have much access to tech. Through the 2000s, I just knew how to plug in my smart gadgets to get them to charge. But then, I had to adapt to keep up to the younger talent that was coming up through the Olympic movement or through tennis. Because the younger talent was scouting my matches using videography and their coaches were looking at under pressure where was my backhand going on a passing shot, under pressure where was my second serve going. So they weren't just studying the percentages of where I played my shots, they were studying the percentages of where I played my shot under pressure which means they were brain reading me. Every one of us have brain maps. What would we do under pressure? What would we do in different situations? And this is where I think the meeting of the human mind and emotions comes to technology. Now, today the big word is artificial intelligence.